So let's look at this problem here. We have uh, two masses, two strings. Uh, we're basically going to pull on this mass uh, to the right, giving it an acceleration. And we want to figure out a couple things. So the first thing I would like you to do actually is to predict which of these two strings, T1 or T2, is the tension going to be greater? Or are they going to be equal? Um, and then the next thing I would like you to do is see if you can go ahead and solve them. And we're going to express these tensions in terms of M and A. So go ahead and pause the video now and then um, see if you can uh, answer both these questions and then I'll do it with you. So as usual, the first step should be to draw a free body diagram. So I'm just going to do it on mass M first. So notice we have uh, a tension T1 going to the right. We also have a tension T2 going to the left. Now this problem doesn't say whether or not there's friction or not. So since there's no mention of friction, we're just going to go ahead and assume that it's frictionless. Okay, so here's M. Um, let's take a look at the second mass. So the second mass is bigger. This mass is 2M. And the FPD on this, if you notice, we only have one force, and that's going to be T2 going this way to the right. So the next step is to go ahead and sum up our forces. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do it for the first mass. And I'm just going to do the horizontal forces here. And if need be, I'll do the vertical forces. So we have uh, T1 going to the right. We'll make that positive. We have T2 going to the left. We'll make that negative. We'll set that equal to MA. Now in this problem, we are going to use the mass that, um, that our FPD is on. And so we're just going to go ahead and use um, MA, just one single M. We'll go ahead and repeat this for the mass, second mass. And in this one, it's a little bit easier. Notice we just have one force, so that's T2. And we're going to set that equal to MA. In this case, our M is going to be 2M. So we'll set that equal to 2MA. So notice the problem's asking us to express in terms of mass and acceleration. And at this point, at least for T2, you can see we've done that. So T2 is equal to 2MA. So the only thing we need to do now is to go ahead and solve it for T1. So let's go ahead and substitute in. So we're going to have T1 minus, and then let's make the substitution for T2. So this is going to be 2MA. And then we're going to set that equal to MA. Let's go ahead and give ourselves a little bit more space here. So yeah, at this point it's pretty straightforward. Let's just go ahead and finish this up. We'll go ahead and add 2MA to both sides and that's going to give us 3MA. So let's go back to the original conceptual question. We asked which one will have more tension. Well you can see T1 clearly has more tension. It's going to be 3MA versus T2, which was only 2MA. In fact, we could express this in terms of um, uh, each tension. So notice T1, if we go ahead and substitute our MA over here, we're going to get T1 is equal to 3 halves MA, or 1 and a half. Oops, 3 halves. Let's erase that. Erase, erase. OK, yeah, I meant to write T2 here. So we're expressing this in terms of T1 and T2. So T1 is going to be um, one and a half times T2. So let's go see if this makes sense. Uh, let's go ahead and pull this up a little bit. So if you think about it, basically this string right here is essentially pulling just on this 2M. So that's why, you know, if you think F equals MA, this is going to be F equals 2MA. So it has to pull with this amount of force to get this mass accelerating. Whereas T1, if you think about T1, T1 is going to have to pull the whole entire both masses, right? So we're going to need more force to pull two ma um, more mass, right? Two masses here. In fact, if we were to just treat this as one big old mass here, the mass of this would be 3m. And we'd have to pull this with, well, F equals 3MA. So 
clearly we'd need more force to pull two masses than we would to just pull a single mass. So let's look at one last little bit. Let's go back over here again. Um, so just kind of conceptually, if you think about it, if we want an acceleration uh, to the right, then just looking at this FBD here, notice T1 has to be bigger than T2. If T1 is not larger than T2, then it would not be accelerating to the right. If they were equal, it would either be moving at a constant speed or not moving at all. And if T2 were bigger than it, there would have to be an acceleration this way. So you could answer the conceptual question just by looking at this mass alone.